the bike is always a complete it's not just one thing reach or head tube angle or the suspension itself it's a it's a complete package so with this bike you're really in a good riding position it's really easy to corner you can get it up in the air pretty easy generally it's so easy to ride i uh, it's effortless the suspension really holds up its geometry so this is one key part of any bike you uh, when you when when someone designs a bike you just cannot look at the head tube angle and the chainstay length or something like that you need to if it's full suspension you need to look how it works through the travel and how the kinematics is so if you have a progressive suspension the bike has to be designed accordingly the, the geometry when you go through the suspension people notice these differences in when they corner when they go in the berms bike squats quite a lot so if the geometry changes in that corner the bike doesn't turn like you would want to so when the bike suspension is balanced and the geometry is balanced then the bike just turns easy that's what we have here is that this bike turns really good i believe that the suspension we we nail the geometry and the suspension and uh one thing we did we lifted the bb uh so it's uh when when it's static it's it's uh on the axle level of course when you hop on the bike it's it's not anymore it's uh, when you go in sag it's lower one thing that we need to remember as well the fork doesn't move vertically 190 millimeters it's more or less like 170 millimeters vertically but the rear end is more or less vertical so when you go through the travel um the the bike geometry changes so this is where the kinematics are important that if you want the bike to have certain geometry and and yeah it's a like um also the when you hit bumps and all that that's important as well with suspension uh what is often not talked about people talk more about the small bump sensitivity because that's something that hurts your hands and it's more kind of bothering when you ride long descents that the chatter is just kind of annoying um that is that the big suspension really removes from your ride and you can really concentrate more on your on your ride but it's not sluggish as well so the modern suspension uh, like the forks and shocks have improved a lot and uh for example the air shocks are now really the the their performance is extremely good compared to seven years back for example and i don't personally see uh, a big difference between coil and air shocks today uh, i think it's more aesthetical choice of having a coil or air on a bike like this um, air is of course uh, lower weight also the change of direction so it's maybe more sensitive because the there's no mass the spring mass is not there all in all uh, like like i said we don't benchmark other bikes uh, we wanted a big travel bike that is a trail bike and it can do everything that you want you can go really fast on bike park you can go jib on the trail it's an e-bike it has the the big battery motor combined but still it's it's really maneuverable